Hello, and welcome to the rigging video for the JBL VTX B15 subwoofer. To suspend B15 subwoofers, begin by removing the soft cover of the first B15 and flipping the cabinet onto its base. Remove the caster board and set it aside. To release the link bars, simply press the button up and to retract them, press down. Once down, the mechanism automatically locks the link bar in the storage position. Using this method, press up to extend the four front B15 link bars. The B15 can be suspended using the VTX A6 mini frame or the A6 suspension bar. The A6 mini frame consists of three individual parts, two sidearms, and one spreader bar. Position the sidearms on the subwoofer and insert the pins through the rigging bars of the B15. Pin the spreader bar between the sidearms and ensure that the same hole position is used on both sides of the cabinet. Verify that the pins are fully seated and engaged. With the frame attached, connect the hoist to the shackle and begin lifting the first subwoofer. To add additional B15s, lower the flown array on top of subwoofers on the ground. Once stacked, remove the six pins, release the six captive link bars, and re-pin all six positions. Repeat these steps to complete the B15 subwoofer array. For mixed arrays, prepare the A6 cabinets the same way you would with a standalone array. Preset the angles, set the top cabinet to an angle of 6 degrees, and preload the A6 rigging to make connecting the stack of cabinets easier. Align the front attachment points and then lower the suspended array until the front points are making contact. Once the front points are touching, insert the front pins. Next, lower the array further until the rear points can be pinned together. Continue the process of rigging an A6 array as outlined in the A6 rigging tutorial video and the A6 rigging manual until the array is complete. D-rigging follows the same steps as an array including only A6s. Drop the array back to a good working height and release the red suspension locks on the lower four cabinets. Attach the A6 road case base. Use the handle at the base of the case to pull the lower section back and carefully land the array on the front two wheels. Continue to lower the array until the gap between the fourth and fifth cabinets from the bottom has completely closed. Next, close the red locking latches and pin the bottom four cabinets to the 15 degree storage position. Remove the rear pin on each side that's between the bottom four speakers and the rest of the array and lift the array slightly to get all four wheels on the ground. Pull the front pins to release the stack from the flown array and roll it out of the way. Repeat these steps for all A6s in the array. To de-rig the B15s, simply land the array. Remove the pins holding the lowest B15 to the array. Raise the hoist to separate the disconnected B15 from the array above. Slide the separated B15 out from underneath the array and press the captive spring-loaded rigging bars back into the cabinet. They will lock into the storage position automatically. Install the caster board, flip the cabinet onto the casters, and fit the protective cover over it. Repeat these steps until the entire array is safely landed. Thank you for watching.